Every day, over 1,000 people are relocating or moving to Florida. So there's a probability you'll end up in a place like here in Delray Beach in Palm Beach County. So today I'm going to give you the top 15 things that will help you become an expert before living in Delray Beach. And we're going to start right now. It's J-Dub, Mr. Downtown Delray with EXP Realty. And if this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn everything about Delray Beach, Florida, maybe which beaches to go to, some cool restaurants to attend, or you just want to learn how to chill, relax, or maybe catch a round of golf, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, tap that bell so that you're notified every week when I drop a new video. And here's the thing, folks just like you are now starting to reach out to me every week wanting to know how to move or relocate to Delray Beach and our surrounding areas. And if that's you, go ahead and send me a text, give me a call, drop me an email. And if you want to learn everything about Delray Beach so you become an expert about living here, today I put together a list of the top 15 things that will help you on your way. And we're going to start right now. Mainly number one are our low taxes. Some folks are coming in from the Northeast, like New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, where taxes are really high. And some of those states are now starting to enact wealth tax. If you want to leave those states, they're going to charge you an exit fee to get out of there. But here in Florida, our sales tax is 7%. Places like Seattle are 9 or 10, California 8 and 3 quarters, up in the Northeast, also in the 8s and 9s, 7's not that bad. Our property tax here in Florida, 1.295%. Consider San Diego at like 1.9 or New York at 1.925. We have the sun, we have beaches, we have low taxes, and also we have no state income tax. One of about a handful of states where if you come here and you bring your income into Florida, consider it a raise of about 5%. Without having income tax, you are setting yourself for success. Number two is high versus low season. High season is the winter, November through April. Low season is the summer, May through October. The difference, high season, we triple our population, maybe even more. So when you're on the streets driving, you wanna give yourself a lot of extra space. We have retired people, we have snowboarders that come here, and the highways and roads are packed. Restaurants, packed. Weekend grocery, packed. In the summertime, it becomes ghost town. Everyone leaves. They get The rain starts to show up. The heat, the humidity is here. People head back out of town. Hurricane season comes. The restaurants and the roads free up. We almost get our city back. So the difference is high season, jammed. Low season, ah. Number three, outdoor fitness and sports. If you're a biker, take A1A, which is our Pacific Coast Highway of the East. You can drive all the way up and down A1A. We can see billionaire rows and houses. All the weekends are packed with big, huge groups of, of bike teams and, and bike clubs. If you want to take a mountain bike out to some of the parks out far west, we've got those too. If you want to get in a boat and cruise through a lake, got it. Beach for surfing, got it. Outdoor volleyball, you bet. If you want to do some yoga and also hit some other gyms all throughout the town, they're everywhere. Just get yourself outside. Delray is known for fitness. Number four, tropical fruit. If you like sweet smoothies, if you want to eat mangoes, if you want to eat papaya, if you want to eat all sorts of bananas, all over Delray. Block after block are orchards of mangoes. I have 12 different papaya trees in my property and bananas all over the place. So if you love smoothies, if you love fresh fruit, if you love that sensation of summer all the time, we have tropical fruit everywhere. Number five, the Boys Farmer's Market. Yeah, Delray Beach has its own farmer's market right in downtown at the Old School Square during the high season. But if you've never been to the Boys Market, which is out west on Military Avenue, oh my. For those people who want to get seen in a place of chaos and fun, they've got cheeses and chocolates and fresh fruit and fish. They have everything, wine, beers. Get to the Boys Farmers Market for an experience. On weekends, it's packed. Get there in the morning. Number six is 
4th of July. Del Rey puts on one of the coolest parties. We take Atlantic Avenue and shut down about 80% of that thing. People are cruising around all over the place all day. Live bands, great venue, great all sorts of craft art people here come from all over the country. And at night in Delray Beach, we have a barge, a platform about, I don't know, a quarter mile off the ocean where they shoot off fireworks. And we literally get tens of thousands of people from all over Palm Beach and South Florida come to Delray. Put 4th of July on your map in Delray Beach. Number seven is Delray Beach is pet friendly. So if you're a dog lover looking to bring a dog in, if you're relocating here, we have dog parks. I think we have three dog parks in Delray Beach. We also have neighboring to the south in Boca. We have a wonderful beach dog park that you can join for a very small fee. We also have the old school square in downtown Delray Beach where a lot of people bring their dogs on like Wednesday nights when the drum bands are going or any weekend day when the farmer's market is going, you're gonna see dogs everywhere, all throughout Delray Beach. So for you folks who are dog family and love your pets, Delray welcomes you. Number eight are our scrub areas. They're like parks, little wildlife reserve areas where you can bring your bike and cruise around and just get away from the city and the hustle bustle. Make sure you bring your camera because you'll see tons of birds. You'll see iguanas. You'll see all sorts of crazy water rodents. You'll see alligators. If you want to just get away and go out in the nature, Delray Beach has lots of places for you to get away. Number nine is beer. There's beer everywhere here in South Florida. Now Delray doesn't have a lot of breweries. Those are all found in Lake Worth and Boynton and Boca, which surround us. But there's one brewery in Delray Beach, Saltwater Brewery, who is very ocean sensitive. They want to protect our ocean and beaches and our mammals. So instead of packaging their six packs with plastic six pack holders, they created an edible six pack holder so that when that trash goes in the ocean, it's edible for the animals. And if that's not cool, I'm not sure what is. We love our ocean in Delray. Number 10 is of course our beaches. Delray Beach is known for our beautiful white sand beach. Our primary beach is about a mile and a quarter long. If you wanna get your toes sandy, if you wanna get salt on your body and just have a good time in the sun, you can snorkel to underwater shipwreck. You can kiteboard, you can snorkel, you can paddleboard. You can do all sorts of fun things and you can also go surf and particularly in the winter months we get some unbelievable surf for you surfers so our beaches here in delray beach some of the finest in florida number 11 is our weather let's make it real simple january february march nice warm no humidity april starts to turn may the thunderstorms come and it rains a lot june july august september even in october hot 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 humid 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 hurricanes. November, a little bit of tapering off. December, ah, we feel good again and then goes right back to January. If you like the tropics, if you like wearing flip-flops and shorts, come to Del Rey. Number 12 is fish. For you fish-eating people, Florida, oh my. We have mahi-mahi, we have all sorts of snapper, we have barrel fish, we have tile fish, we have gray tile fish in different colors, we have grouper. If you've never had grouper, we have black grouper, red grouper, snowy grouper, strawberry grouper, and scamp grouper. There's got to be some other groupers out there. I lived with my family in Costa Rica for 15 years and we used to eat fish all the time. Fresh caught tunas and stuff. But we moved here to Florida and we started eating the fish here. If you've never had grouper, I am telling you, it is some of the finest, delicious, scrumptious, moist fish you've ever had. And the best place to get it is at Captain Clay's. If you want to learn more about those guys, go ahead and click on the link up here. Number 13 is Delray's rich history. Lots of folks don't think of Florida when they think of history, but I'll tell you, it has lots of history. And in Delray Beach, we take our history seriously. It all started back in you know, the 1800s with Mr. Flagler and his oil money coming down here with trains and opening up commerce for fruit companies and whatnot. And then there were gentlemen like Mr. Swinton, Mr. Linton, Mr. Boynton. There was no Clinton in that mix. But these were big land guys who started here back in the late 1800s and kind of set the foundation for everything. 
But here in Delray Beach, we also have a very strong and vibrant African-American history. Back in the early 1900s, there was a gentleman by the name of Solomon Spady, who was a prominent civic leader as well as an educator. And today, if you haven't been by the Spady Museum on Northwest Fifth Avenue, make sure you stop by there and get a little flavor and sense of what Delray Beach is all about. And when you're done, Take a stroll down to Southwest Fifth Avenue for those folks who like barbecue and pork and ribs. Make sure you stop by Caesar's Famous Ribs. Number 14 are pine trees. Who would think we'd have pine trees in the tropics? First time I saw them, I thought this is crazy. But here in Delray Beach and all throughout Florida, we have the longleaf pine, we have the spruce pine, we have the slash pine. We even have the Japanese black pine tree. It's kind of crazy. We don't use them for Christmas things, but for those of you who think you wouldn't ever see pine trees in Florida, we've got pine trees everywhere. Number 15. Delray Beach is a three-time winner of the All-American City Award. That basically recognizes communities that leverage engagement, inclusiveness, collaboration, and innovation to address local issues. There's been 12 cities that have won three times, and Delray Beach is one of those. And here's the cool thing. Once you become a resident of Delray Beach, you'll be like the rest of us. We love Delray Beach. That was the top 15 things to help you become an expert about living in Delray Beach. And if you like that, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time a weekly video comes out. And remember, folks are now starting to reach me on a weekly basis. So go ahead and send me a text, send me an email, pick up the phone and give me a call. I want to help you in your relocation or moving to this area go as smooth as possible. We'll see you next time.